The second of our preliminary bouts takes place in the middleweight division, and again, we are scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the black corner. He is a Polish national and World Cup champion. His professional record, 26 wins with three losses. Five of those wins coming by way of knockout. He makes his glory debut tonight. At 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.81 meters, he weighed in at 186.1 pounds, 84.4 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Poland, introducing Bartuk Muszynski. Now his opponent, standing on my right and fighting out of the white corner. At the age of 19, he became the youngest to ever sign a glory contract. He last fought in the glory ring in Amsterdam, all the way back at glory 45. His professional record, 24 wins with just two losses, nine of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, five inches tall, 1.96 meters, he weighed in at 186.1 pounds, 84.4 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Morocco, ladies and gentlemen, Imad, the problem child, Hada! And your referee in charge of this bout, Goran Semarina. Fair play, and good luck, okay? Go back to corner. Thank you. Ahmad Hadar said he grew up 500 meters from this arena. He said, this is a very, very cool moment for me, a dream come true, but I had a lot of pressure, but it's positive pressure. Time, first round. Fight! Let's see if Hadar can control that aggression. And you can already see the height difference. Well, I'm excited to see Mushinsky's unique style he kept talking about. Right down route one from Hadar. But he just showed Joe he landed two great punches and he backed out. Yeah. Maturity. Kind of set his strikes up. He is training with SB Gym coach Saeed, who's you know, slowly becoming one of the top coaches. So you can know his combinations are good. Good skill, great training partners. Again, Mushinsky taking this fight on 10 days' notice. He said he, he wants to start slow and finish strong. Doesn't want to gas himself out. And boy, is he starting slow. There's a nice calf yeah. kick. Right hand from Hadar. Yeah, Hadar's got big power combinations. I just, for me, it's how is he going to set them up? It looks like Mushinsky's not going to be there to be hit. Exchange. You can tell Mushinsky does have an awkward style. Keeps those hands at a weird defensive posture. Yeah, he almost faints with the hands and then oh. heavy kicks. Oh, a cut over the eye already of right. Mushinsky. Looks like it's on the nose, too. No, I think it's on the right eye. It's on the eyelid, just under the eyebrow. Oh, that's a baby cut, Joe, right? What are we yeah, doing? It's paper cuts. I didn't even know what happened with it. Was it a, a punch, a headbutt maybe? But. Ooh, Ooh, shit. shit. Nice camera work. Yeah. Yeah. Cruz on top today, aren't That's they? That's it, boom. Just clipped off the glove, it was blocked, but still nicked. A minute and a half to go here in round one. Hadar's already drawn blood. Hadar so explosive. He waits for those moments to let go. That right hand, left hook, kick combination. Scary. Now switching stances is Hadar. Fighting southpaw. Waiting to see what Mushinsky has offensively. Yeah, right now he's playing calm, relaxed. But he's going to have to open up eventually. And I'm surprised more damage wasn't done when the shin of Hadar hit him right in the skull. Yeah, I think his hands were still there to block to take most of the, the damage away from it, but it's still enough to just nick, cause that small cut. Yeah, body kick there from Mushinsky. 
By Mushinsky, I'm really liking that calf kick. Yeah, Dar has those long legs. Yeah. And the calf is a safer option because you know Hadar is ready for that right hand left hook combination. And even I know Hadar is trying to get out of the bottom shadow a little bit, but even the way he bounces, he explodes. There is a little similarities I always see. A very patient opening round for Ahmad Hadar. Yeah, it's the right move for him. Ahmad Hadar signed with Glory when he was just a teenager. He was undefeated, Joe, but went 0-2 in Glory. Said he got humbled, left the promotion. As you can see there, didn't lose again, and now he's back as a more mature fighter. Yeah, you can see it now, his style, his technique. Usually after one power shot, he'd go after and go for another one. Lushinsky doing the best he can. You know, Polish national champion, signature strikes, the low kicks. We've seen a lot of them with those hand feints. And as we mentioned, when he walked out, over 100 amateur fights. So this is what's really keeping him in here now on only 10 days notice. Oh, yeah, there's the head kick from Hadar that caused that cut. Time. I think a lot of guys would have been knocked out from that kick. It's one inch difference, it was it. You're sleeping. Well, now Mushinsky knows he has to pick up the pace. He wanted to start slow to have some energy since he took this on short notice. He's got to win these next two rounds. Yep. I also think we'll see a more aggressive Hadar as well. I mean, he got pretty, he felt it that first round. No more, okay. Fight. Nice defense there from Lusinski. Ooh, switch stance from Hadar with the switch stance uppercut. Yeah, you can see that Hadar is picking up the pace. at the defensive posture of the Polish fight. Oh, he's getting his hands up just enough. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, they're not really landing. He's still able to block kicks and punches. Maybe not the best position for power punches and counters, but still working for him. But you're not teaching that style of Bazooka Joe's kickboxing academy, are you? At moments, yes. Really? Yeah, I mean, you don't always want to be a high-guarded guy. Like, sometimes mixing up your, your hand position kind of lets you do different things. Good body shot from Hadar, and there's a kick. Yeah, there's that rhythm I like from Hadar. Combination, reset, combination. Starting to gain momentum. Boy, we haven't seen many punches Fight. at all from Mushinsky. It's been all low kicks. Yeah, Fight. that should be his strategy. Fight. I mean, Hadar's arms are so long, so to try to get inside, it's dangerous. Stay long and kick. They look like they're in two different weight classes, don't they? I know. Mushinsky does have some big legs, though. With some big Polish legs. Looks like there's a cut on the top of the head of Hadar. Or maybe it was from the clinch. Maybe he put his head on the cut. Who knows? But I do see blood trickling down. Nice answer from Hadar. Uh, Fight. Hadar trying to work in the clinch, which is always a good thing. Yeah. He's got some good knees too, so Fight. being able to mix those with his combinations could be a dangerous strike for him. That'll do it for round two. Round 
three, Joe, what would your advice be to Bartek Wyszynski? Go. Go. Fight. Basically, just go. I mean, you're going to have to put things together. You can't just throw singles. When you have a chance, put some punches and kicks together. The judges have given both rounds to Hadar. Not a surprise there. Just being a little too patient. He's going to have to put strikes together. By the way, I've been told Filipovich has cleared medicals, so if he's needed later tonight for the heavyweight tournament, he is available. He's got a good style for the tournament with that boxing he showed. Nice counter, there it is. He's got to stay on the inside, takes him down again. That wasn't a sweep, that's legal. Yeah, he kicked the leg. Fight. You kicked cannot, that leg up. Yeah, you, what's the difference, Joe, to those just watching Glory for the first time? Like, you can't trip the leg or sweep the leg. If you kick it out like a regular kick and they fall, that's a legal strike. You gotta kick the leg out, not drag it or pull it or sweep it. There's those knees from Hadar. I like the aggression, though, from Mushinsky in this round. Yeah, it's just about pressuring and putting strikes together. At the end of the day, it's a fight. Just fight. Maybe take the technical side out of it and go. Bite down and go. He, he wanted to have some gas in the okay. tank for round three. Fight! And again, oh, they're going to call that a knockdown. He's complaining that it was a little low. We'll have to wait till the replay. But either way, it is now code red time for Mashinsky. He's got to figure out a way. Yeah, maybe a good overhand right to punch combination. And Hadar's thinking, man, I want a stoppage. Yeah, Hadar's found, finding these knees now. So he's trying to really mix them in. Ooh, there you go. Mix it up. Spinning back fist attempt for Mashinsky, who's talking a little trash. <laughs> Blocked again. He gets those hands up at the very last second. Yeah, is the low hands works for him until it doesn't. That's what we always say. It works till it doesn't. Trying a flying knee that didn't work for Hadar. Hey. I feel like if Hadar just maybe put some hand combinations together, stayed outside, just threw his punches, he'd do pretty well, yeah, too. Now he's kind of crashing range a little bit, kind of. It could be fatigue, getting tired again. Fine. But uh, everything's starting to add up. So, Ushinsky not exactly enjoying his trip to the Netherlands so far, is he? No. Hadar is a tough fight, fight man. Right. On 10 days notice. With two low bodies. Yeah. And a knockdown. All right, 20 seconds. Go. Time. Up. White. Go to the window. Please come. Oh, and then they're going to take a point. Right corner, official body. Oh, official body. No. All right, come. Okay. Time. Fight. I don't think there's enough time for him to even Stop. do one time. more. And that will do it. Ahmad Hadar, back and looking good in glory. We make it official in a moment. You're watching Glory Prelims. And he looked pretty darn good as we take a look at strikes by zone. Went to the head 19 of 86. Similar amount of strikes and punches and kicks landed, but obviously Ahmad Hadar has had much more venom behind them. Total count, man, basically even. 42 of 123 for Hadar, 49 of 120 for the Polish fighter. Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judge's scorecard. Here are the totals. One judge scores it 30-25. The four remaining judges all have it 30-26. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Imad Haddad!
I'm here with an emotional Ahmad Hadar. I know tonight meant so much to you to come back here and to get your first win. Give me your emotions, my man. This is the first time my father stepped into the ring without my mother. She passed away a couple of years ago. And since then, I haven't been entering the ring anymore. So I was mentally physique ready for this fight. And last Tuesday, my grandfather passed away, her father. So it's uh, a roller coaster of emotions right now. And I'm going to Morocco to visit my grandmother at Sierra. And I want to thank Rotterdam, Ahoy, my people, my family somewhere. I love you, my coach Said. My father, he's my, he's my backbone, man. He's, uh, I'm going to enjoy this win and go visit my family, and that's it. Hope to see you soon, guys. I mean, we saw a good technical performance from you. You talked about being in a lot, uh, a more mature fighter. Were you happy with the way you performed? Ah, uh, to be honest, for me, this was a shit performance. I could knock him out in the first, but did not have rhythm, did not have ah, that excuses, man. I'm going to come back and see you soon, Joe. See you soon, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear it for your winner, Imad Hadar. Wow, Ahmad Hadar, you hear what he's been through, you see the emotions with him and his family. Wow, powerful stuff. He just wanted to get the win. You could tell that's all he cared about was getting the W and he got it tonight. Congratulations to him and our prayers go out to his family with their recent losses.